assalamu alaikum and good morning dear students welcome to class 3 unit 1 place value part 2 in this lesson we will be learning two topics firstly we will learn how to compare numbers we will be comparing numbers using the correct sign and nextly we will learn how to order numbers in ascending and descending order moving ahead to a next topic comparing numbers in order to understand comparing numbers it's very important my dear students that you remember the signs this is the sign for greater than this is for less than and this is for equal to greater number smaller number you need to understand that this sign is used in such a way that the mouth is opened always towards the greater number i hope you all must have studied it in your previous class that the sign can be rem remembered as a crocodile's mouth so it always open its mouth towards the bigger number you'll understand it further when you see some more examples now let us understand comparing numbers by viewing this example you see the first example 2670 and 3584 in order to compare the numbers dear students i want you to compare the number digit by digit so first have a look at the thousands place you see on the number on your left it has 2 in the thousands place and the number on your right has 3 in the thousands place so when you compare both the numbers which is greater 3 is greater than 2 so we say that the number on our right is obviously greater on the number on the left that is why the symbol's mouth is open towards the greater number coming on to the next example what do we see here oh we see that the number in the thousands place is same in both the number on left and right let us move to the next number and check okay here we have 3 again in the same hundreds place let us move to the next digit so we will see that the number on our left has 9 in the tens place and the number on the right has 2 in the tens place obviously we know that 9 is greater than 2 that is why this will be a correct answer so when we click we see that the sign which appears has its mouth open towards 5391 giving us that 5391 is greater than 5328 now what do we learn in our third example here we notice one thing before we start comparing digit by digit it's always better that we first count the number of digits the number on our left is a four digit number if you count the digits and the number on our right is a three digit number definitely a four digit number is always greater than a three digit two digit or one digit number so here we will see that 2004 is greater than 204 so when you click the answer appears in the screen and the mouth is open towards the greater number the example in our fourth let us compare that we see one is same in both the thousands place then we move to the hundreds place what do we see the number on the left has zero in the hundreds place and the number on our right has five in the hundreds place so definitely five is greater than zero that's why we come to the conclusion that 1580 is greater than 1085 so the number on the right is greater when we click we get the sign and the symbol says that 1580 is greater number now we have some more examples for comparing numbers and putting the signs so here we need to do some work and then find out the number so it is for you to practice let us see 
The number on our left is just not a single number. It is sum of 1300 and 2200. So, when you add both the numbers, the answer that you get will be 3500. So, that is why we decide that both the numbers are equal and hence we put an equal to sign. Second example. On both the sides we need to do some working. 10 times 6. So 10 into 6 is 60. And the number on right is a sum of 50 and 20. So 50 plus 20 is 70. So when you compare them, the number on our left is 60 and the number on our right is 70. So now that you know that 70 is greater than 60, you should put the correct sign. And we see that the symbol is open towards the right side, 70. Coming to the third example, 5300 minus 2100. So we need to find the difference of both the numbers. So when we subtract them carefully, what do we get? We get 3200 and the number on our right is 4200. Definitely 4200 is greater than 3200. So here by doing some working we will decide which number is greater, which number is smaller or whether two numbers are equal. Then comes ordering numbers. A very interesting topic. Here we learn about two ordering systems. Ascending order and descending order. First we learn ascending order. Ascending order means arranging numbers from smaller to bigger. Ascending order can also be called as increasing order. We start from the smallest number and we arrange it such as we end at the largest number. The opposite of it is descending order. Descending order means arranging numbers from bigger to smaller. Descending order is also called as decreasing order. So we start from a bigger number and we stop at the smallest number. You see two pictures here. Ascending means going up. Descending means coming down. So we always start from small and we go up to big called ascending and we start from big and then we move towards down that means coming towards the smallest it means descending. Again these pictures will help you remember the orders ascending order is from the smallest to biggest and descending order from biggest to smallest. Now these numbers arrange themselves in ascending order starting from the smallest 345 at the first step down, 562 at the second step and 1307 at the last step top. These numbers arrange themselves in descending order or decreasing order starting from the biggest 4512 at the top, 1203 at the second step and 968 at the last from biggest to smallest. Now here is an example for us to arrange the following numbers in ascending order. We know that ascending order is arranging from smallest to biggest. So the smallest in all is 975 because the remaining others are 4 digit numbers and 975 is a 3 digit number. So we will place 975 in the first position. Then comes one of the number from 3640 or 3689. Obviously my dear students you understand that 3640 is the next number. Then comes 3689 and 4630. You can view the answer when you click on the screen and then you see another example for you to solve and arrange these numbers in the ascending order. Arrange the following numbers in descending order. Let us recall that descending order is also called as decreasing order. 
starting from the biggest to the smallest. So the biggest of all the four numbers that you see on the screen is definitely 5075. Then comes 3097. Then it is 3079. And the last of all, the smallest is 2941. So this is the arrangement that you see when you click on the screen. And then you have another example for you dear students to solve. This is the slide giving you about exercise 1C of your textbook. Once you understand the previous topics, you will be definitely able to do exercise 1C properly in your textbook. Question number 1 is about comparing. So when you do a little working and you compare the numbers, you will be able to put the correct signs. Then question number 2 is again about comparing 4 digit numbers, sometimes with 3 2 digit numbers as well. You will compare the numbers and put the correct sign in the boxes. Question number 3 is about circling the biggest number. So from the given numbers, you need to know which is the biggest number and circle that in every example. And circling the smallest number is question number 4. Let me read out the fifth question which is a word problem. It's very easy. I'm reading out. Let us understand. If 1280 people visited the book fair on the first day. A book fair is a book exhibition. 1199 people visited on the second day. And 1209 people visited on the third day. On which day did the maximum number of people visit the fair? Here my dear students, I want you to understand that they have given us three numbers, three four digit numbers. Among all the three numbers, you just need to tell me on which day did more number of people visit. That means you need to tell me which is the biggest number of all. I am sure you will be able to solve it very easily. Exercise 1D is about ascending and descending order. Question number 1 is to rewrite the numbers in their descending order or decreasing order. So every time you write down the number, you give some space between every number there in the blank. I am sure you will be able to do question number 1 and 2 very easily. Let us recall what we have learned today. So the recapitulation is, first we learn about digits. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8 and 9 are called digits. Using digits, we build a number. Then the position of a digit in a number gives its numerical value called as place value. Now seeing this example, 4319. We know that 4 is in thousands place. So the place value of 4 is 4000. Place value of 3 will be 300 or in numerical 300300. The 1 is in tenth place, so place value of 1 is 110 or simply 10. The place value of 9 is 9 ones or simply 9. The expanded form of this number can be formed by combining all the place values numerically as 4319 can be expanded as 4000 plus 300 plus 10 plus 9. The word form of this number is 4319. We also learned about comparing numbers. And these are the signs useful for comparing numbers. Greater than, less than, equal to. We also learned about our ordering systems, ascending order. Ascending order is arranging numbers from smaller to bigger. Then descending order is arranging numbers from bigger to smaller. Math is always fun when you practice it. So my dear students, remember doing your practice exercises. That's all. Thank you dear students.